Greetings from Koh Samui. In this video, I wanted to discuss a topic that has been weighing on my mind for quite some time, and that is the topic of my startup that I've launched in Thailand. So roughly a year and a half ago now, I was approved for my smart startup visa through the BOI, which is the Board of Investment here in Thailand. And I worked on that startup for six months and you know I did everything that I could to, to generate, to ba basically make it profitable. And unfortunately, after six months, I wasn't able to do that. So I decided to cancel the smart visa and switch over to a company called Panomatics that's been making virtual tours for a very long time, like 15 or 18 years now in Thailand. And so I switched over to that, I got the work permit and I had to cancel my smart visa, unfortunately. However, it's still active. So I'm able to extend the smart visa for up to two years. So an additional year and a half. If I continue working on the same startup, which is the, the virtual tour startup that is in the hospitality, tourism, and travel space. So I believe this industry in particular has a ton of potential because I not only worked for a company doing exactly this for roughly a year, I was helping them with all their marketing and lead generation, but I've also started reaching out to a lot of hotels, mostly here in Southeast Asia, Thailand, Vietnam, Philippines, Bali, Indonesia, Japan, and a lot of them are getting back to me and they're expressing interest in the virtual tours, which makes perfect sense because many of the large hospitality brands, they may already have the virtual tours, but the smaller businesses and maybe three, four star hotels do not currently have this solution in place. And if they do have a solution, it's usually not very good. Uh, leaves a lot to be desired, right? So that's where my solution comes in. And the fact that I was able to get approved for the smart visa under the BOI, which is basically the government organization in Thailand that handles all of the, most of the business related matters, the LTR visa, smart visa, um, other visas as well, but those are the big two, right? So that's, that's further proof that this startup, they, they believe in it, they know that it will be a benefit to the Thai economy, and I do as well. So I've just recently gone to the Philippines about a month ago, roughly, and I connected with my potential business partner in El Nido. <clears throat> Beautiful island, part of Palawan in the Philippines. And I went over there for a digital nomad conference because I was invited as a speaker at the event. and. I was invited the previous year too, but this year I said, yes, I have to make it happen, right? So I went to Philippines, finally got to see around this country, and also stayed in Da Nang in Vietnam for a little bit as well. Made a, plenty of travel vlogs from those locations for the YouTube channel, which is steadily growing over time. I've got about 8,000 subscribers now, and another year I'll have about 24,000 is projected. So that YouTube channel is continuing to bring in ad revenue every single month. Just got to pay, pay out today. And that's a really nice side business to have, right? But it's also still not all that profitable, right? So I want to launch this startup and I'm looking for investors. That's my purpose for this video. I just made a live video about an hour ago discussing some of this stuff. And I figured why not just create a long form video as well. It's something that I don't really like to ask on the channel, but I've been providing a ton of value through my content, over 700 videos on the YouTube channel now. And I have no, no plan on giving up. I'm just gonna continue creating more and more content, right? And that's the same mentality that I would bring to the startup as well. The only reason that I canceled the Smart Beast in the first place was because I switched over to a company doing something very similar to what my startup was doing and they had a lot more um, market proof and testimonials and reviews and they worked with many, many hotels and resorts, right? So I, that was a great learning experience and a good on-ramp for my own startup. And now that that's no longer a thing, right? I, I quit my job at the company six, seven, going on eight months now. And I just I decided I cannot work for somebody else. I hate it. I've tried it many times before and it never really 
works out, right? I usually lose my job after a month or this one I actually kept for one year. I'm still not even entirely sure why I worked for them for one year since I wasn't getting a salary, which is legally required in Thailand. As a foreigner from America, 50,000 baht is the minimum uh, yearly salary, sorry, monthly salary for a foreigner. And I think it's actually 60,000 a month for US citizens. But basically I was, I had the work permit. I didn't want to cancel the work permit. So I continued working for the company for as long as I possibly could, right? A year is, is how long I lasted. And don't get me wrong, it was a great learning experience. Um, I learned a lot of the skills that I'm now using for my own businesses. And and like a, I use a tool called Apollo for generating all of the leads in any industry. It's completely free. I've made videos about it on my YouTube channel already, which you're more than welcome to check out. Just for, search for Apollo or look through my tutorials playlist and you should find it. I just made another one today as well because I may be working with a client in the Philippines helping him with some of the stuff, the lead generation for his business, which is mostly social media marketing, right? So it's a very powerful tool and I learned how to use that at uh, the company I used to work for, right? I was already starting to use it a little bit before then and then I introduced them to the product. Um, but unfortunately, they weren't able to close any of the leads that I was sending them, allegedly. Uh, that's what they told me, right? I'm not sure whether to believe them or not. Um, but yeah, so I was sending them dozens of leads every week. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't have closed at least one or two of the deals, right? It doesn't make sense since they've been doing this 15, 16 years. So after a while, I'm like, okay, no salary, no commissions to speak of. I can't do this anymore. It's not working. So yeah, eventually I cut my ties with that company and now I'm doing my own thing, mostly this YouTube channel. This is my main focus because the fact of the matter is it's already profitable. I'm earning a monthly income every single month. As long as it's over $100 per month in ad revenue, you will get a payout every single month consistently. So I'm doing that. That's a nice side business, side hustle, if you will. And I've got over 8,000 subscribers. I don't see any reason why that's not going to continue going up. It's just exponential from here, right? And through providing more and more value completely for free through the YouTube channel, um, it's going to continue growing. And then I also am monetizing my Facebook page as well. So I'm getting paid from them every single month. I got another payout coming in tomorrow, which will be nice. And uh, that's not a huge amount. So my point is I don't have a ton of money, right? I, I'm looking for an investor. I've got the smarts. I've got the audience. And mostly I'm doing like media collaborations with the hotels and resorts in Thailand and other parts of Asia. I did it in Philippines. I didn't do it in Vietnam, but Philippines, Thailand, Bali, these sorts of places. And I'm using the, the same tool that I will be using for the startup in order to generate the leads and close sales, right? So that's why I'm looking for an investment. Uh, doesn't have to be a lot, could be 2 million bot could be 1 million. I don't really care all that much. As long as I can extend the smart visa, then that will be the investment. And then you can also get sponsored under my smart visa as an investor. So if you were to, if you're watching this, if you wanted to come on board as an investor into my startup, I think the minimum investment of capital is 5 million bot for it to get the smart investor visa. So 5 million baht is roughly $150,000 USD. So it's not a ton of money, but it's definitely more than I have. And, you know, I could ask family and friends for this, but I figure I don't really want to rely on my family. And I would much rather find an accredited investor, somebody who, like an angel investor, for example, that would be willing to invest in my startup, not necessarily looking for a return on investment, but they really just want to, to back something that will ultimately help the Thai economy. And that's what you have to show. That's what you have to prove when you apply for the smart visa. So I actually got re rejected twice for the smart visa. I was approved the third time. You know what they say? Third time's the charm. And now I'm able to extend that an additional year and a half, right? Now, obviously there's a lot of other visa options to choose from the LTR, which is very difficult to qualify for. Um, and then the smart visa, the 
elite visa, which is also very, very expensive. So for me, I would really just like to extend the smart visa, looking for an investor if you're interested. And again, you would be able to get sponsored under my startup through the smart visa program at the BOI, the Board of Investment. So if this sounds interesting to you, I would love to hear from you. You can either send me an email, link in the description below, or post a comment, and then we can start a conversation outside YouTube so you don't, don't have to uh, worry about your an anonymity or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, I would recommend just sending me an email, and I've got all my links down below as well, affiliate links, all that stuff, which I've just recently added into all of my YouTube descriptions. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know if you're interested, uh, again, looking for an investment and I've already got the, the smart visa, which I can extend up to two years. That's no problem. Um, would love to hear from you. Please comment below. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Hope to hear from you soon. Take care. Stay safe. Peace from Thailand.